I'm just going to go with VP. No reason why. <laughs> the gut feel? Yeah. No gut reason. Read. All right. I'm going on the Brax camp. They've got the Dazzle. First Dazzle pick we've seen since I've been in Sweden. Dazzle's going to carry this slack. So are you ready? You ready to believe in the power of the Dazzle, buddy? Ten it's happening. Ready. Here we go. Game number one, Secret versus Virtus Pro. Have it. Ready we are. Ourselves in. Secret. I'm excited for this game, actually. It, I'm it should very be really excited. It should, there should be a lot of great play. I can't see this being a one-sided affair. Unless one team just goes an absolute tilt. But so these guys shouldn't. Spotted solo right away. Walking up, they actually know he puts the ward down. The Rubik's coming in, and this is actually a dead bane. This is a very dead bane. That is going to be a ward down, but they'll be aware of it. And uh, Secret will take the first blood. And Kezu, oh, hey, gives him a bit of an applause there. Boost the morale of the team. Mid one. Claiming first blood with the Queen of Pain. He is absolutely loving life, especially seeing as he may be given a tough time and in that mid And they get the ward, too. Are they going to give it to mid one, or does Puppy take the gold? Yeah, I guess he was just, he wasn't just about having the bottle just yet. Yeah. So just, yeah, he needed, he needed a salve, so I just wanted to bring out some other, other like, small sustain, which is a stick, in theory, versus a Bane and a Shadowfing with that spell spamming. Kazu actually getting, I think, Multiple mana burns top lane though. Pasha getting some more pressure on him. They've got waveform. Yeah, he's going to be in trouble there as MP jumps forward. And that'll be a kill here for the safe lane of Secret. The three of them close in. Back in the lane now, mid one. Right, yeah, 15 CS on no one compared to the eight on mid one. He's getting that edge. It's Crete Wave coming under the tower. Shouldn't mind at all. I said, as long as he gets the CS in. Kazu bottom. There's sleep set up. This yeah. could be this enough to kill him. They get this mango, mango, they get this set up. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, and actually trying for the TP as well. So he's going to have to make the long walk into lane with that on cooldown. And Rubik yep. looks like he, yeah, so he's going to make the move to him. So I mean, if they can get the angle on Lil, oh, yeah, that, looks that could be a kill. very free hookshot. There we have it. Telekinesis yep. into the hookshot. Lil trapped in the cogs. That works. Bursted down. Yeah, so with the quick rotation with his arcane boots. The backup from Lil certainly has been enough to keep him fairly strong with the healing ward. Utilizing his uh, ability to just go in and trade hits and have that regen. And in fact, Kezu could be in trouble here. He's going to take quite a bit of damage from the Blade Fury. Looks like it's not enough. And Ramses, he's got to be careful. In fact, he's not careful enough. Quick reaction from mid one. The Japsaw sets up with the Telekinesis. Mid one's in there with the TP and the Blink. Nonetheless, very nice for VP getting the, the SF. No one involved. Gain in the middle. Mid one, I'll tell you what, he's having a bit of a field day with these arcane runes. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, they're absolutely great when you're trying to lane, because uh, he could just bully anyone out that he wants to. Yeah, Spamming and the Shadow Strike and the Screams. And he's so high level already. He just jumps in again. I mean, he's playing very ballsy. This is very aggressive play, and he's going to take a full Requiem to the face. I've, I mean, I, calm down, mid one. I know you want to have a bit of fun with the arcane runes, but you can't go for those sort of plays if you're, if you're the Queen of Pain, because there will be chance to turn them around. Yeah, solo walking up. There's three heroes though for secret. Kazu holding on to the oh, oh, he jukes no. it out. He misses it. It may not matter. No, I think it will because BP now having the chance to turn around. The grave comes out. Omni Sash from Ramses. They'll chop Kazu down. Mid one jumps in. Look for solo. Sonic Wave does bring him very, very low. Solo actually being healed up finally goes down. But they will keep Ramses alive for the time being. Pash has come over with the TP. But mid one, look, look how deep he's diving. Oh, he's playing so aggressive. And again, I think he may get punished for it. Will the heal bomb comes in. So he may have got the double kill, but he gives away his life. And now no one, one raise, will uh, seal the deal onto Yapsor. And can he line it up? No, off the mark. Yapsor now turns with the telekinesis. Now I'm fade bolt. Yapsor falling low will finally go. And in fact, no one and Lil get another as Puppy's caught out as well. But still, of course, whilst all this chaos is going on, all the space in the world for MP up top. Yeah. This, this is, is maybe Secret's plan. They, they'll say, we'll go for these chaotic fights. Sure, we'll lose some people, but we're drawing the whole entire attention away from the Morphling. Yeah. Oh, man. No one, though. Oh. Seambo supports easy kills here oh, for him. Very easy. They may even get another one as well. Lil gets the poison touch slow onto Yapsaw. The Stampede's there as well, and they are enabling the Shadow Fiend beautifully. No one. 5-0-2. Yeah, SF. I mean, SF's looking great this patch, and um, when no one plays it, it's looking even better. One of his strongest heroes, and, and just with the camps every minute, as we saw, you know, the ability to, as you said, get the levels of the Bane in the middle lane, and also be able to just keep the farm up you know, in a lane as well, where where he did have a good start. That, you know, it, I think the Bane pick really has been the crucial part of VP's lineup. So I far. completely agree with you. It's been very, very nice. Now Kezu hooks gets in, but he just gets in. I think they're going to get MP as well if he's not careful. Yeah, he has to wait for more away from that. The Fiend script is there for Solo, but the rest of VP say, no, we, we don't want to dive that deep. We're not mid one. Mid one now jumps forward, looks for Solo, but a quick nightmare dodge allows him to get back. 
And I've got to say, I'm impressed by Solo's play so far. Pasha's They're, got Blink Dagger now, too. They will take him down finally with a freezing field, but there we go with the three man stomp and heal bomb. Secret falling low. Mid one has to jump away and Pete going full strength on him this as he has to, to back up. And uh, VP. It looks like they will get the tier one at the end of this, unless Yapso can get a clutch tonight. He can't. No one gets the gold. It's going to be a Dragon Lance complete 15 minutes in on top of the Shadow Blade. 8k net worth on the SF. Yeah, he is. Uh, okay, yeah. 10 seconds. But yeah. Secret as well. Looks like they kind of know something's up. But they do spot the rotations coming in from VP. VP can just they turn on one of these instead. Yeah, yeah, they can go to pick off Yapso to start with. Yeah, it's got the infused range drop. It's going to be burst through immediately. There's the jumping with the Omni Slash. No messing for VP. They want to eliminate one. They know that they've got no one ripping to puppy to pieces on the other side of the map. He just finds himself a CM with the Shadow Blade movement, and nothing Puppy can do to hold him back as a couple of raises fly through. That's. It is slightly favoring VP, especially favoring no one who's been definitely getting the better end of all these trades. 802 on the Shadow Fiend. And, and they said, MP, we've given you the space. They're going for him. They smoked up again. Yeah, if they get him. Yeah, they got him. Oh, uh, have they there? Has he got a, he's got an illusion now, hasn't he? Or did they get the illusion killed? No, the illusion's. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wave no, wave. Wow. Wow. The rest of Secret. In fact, Kuzu there with the hook shot, the Sonic Wave onto two. Secret coming big. MP gets out. Secret, maybe see if they can get some more out of this. They know that Virtus Pro are two down. Pash out quick with the blink. Anything to cancel it, they don't have it. So he will get out of there. The Lincoln's delivery actually, I believe, saved him. Did blocking one of the bursts. Yeah. For the same reason. Yeah, more than likely. They get the hook shot onto no one here. Oh, he has got the BKB complete, but he needs to get it delivered out to him. And the question is, it, it might actually get there in time, I think. If they've got a shallow grave, I think they can keep no one alive enough with the healing ward as well. Yeah, no one's going to be fine. The BKB is about to turn up. There it is. The BKB now on him. Sonic Wave comes through. Doesn't catch no one in there. He pots the BKB, looks to turn. The Fiend drips onto mid one. They will take down the Queen of Pain with the Blade Fury. No, he gets the blink out. Move one escapes just in time, and Kezu just keeps on trucking. He's moving forward here with the blade mail. VP are backing up. They'll lose the pain and secret keep everyone alive there. Yep, so with the stolen fiend's grip throwing it on the shadow fiend, oh. they didn't have the extra damage potential to bring down the co-op there. Beautiful play coming out from him. I'm going to look to smoke up and see if they can punish Virtus Pro, who VP are is slightly split too. up. They, they, don't are, have they, they are smoking, but they, uh, they, okay, with that quick jump on the Fiend's Griff, in fact, onto the clock, well, that's going to be Kezu out and down. They do lose Pasha for it. No one shoveling himself forward here with the BKB, looks towards Yapsaw, being ticked down here by the minus arm of the Weed, but Yapsaw gets himself out just in time. Looks now towards MP, who waveforms up to the high ground. Solo gets the brain sap off onto mid one. They'll freeze to hold back no one. CM, Puppy controlling the Shadow Fiend. Moment just a one for one, Lil. Eyes ah, well with that Yaps or play, jumps forward, has the stolen who stomp, oh, sets man. up for a second kill for Sedge, you know. Jug, Ramsey's catching back up, has that Manta style complete now on top of the diffuser. So if they lock someone down, uh, it, they, they can certainly rip them to pieces. They just found Pasha with that rocket from yeah, Kezu. Kezu has found the vision. He's dragged back in with the telekinesis and no Ooh. escape for the Centaur. Last time he got himself away on minimal health, this time not so fortunate. Putting yeah. the pressure on, they still have Aegis, they're going for the high ground siege a little bit. Even if it is just a dazzle down, you know, just having the favorable numbers makes it very hard for Veep to hang around. There'll be a jump forward from mid one, but the Fate Bolt comes through just in time for Yapsaw to claim themselves the kill. Pasha will try and jump forward, but there's no further follow-up there. The Telekinesis into the freezing field from Puppy, and Pasha's down as well. VP just throwing bodies, at, uh, trying to defend this middle lane. I mean, it's slowing down the push slightly, but it, it's costing them lives, and the tier three Falling very, very low. Ramsey's heading forward, but immediately Yapsaw's there with the stolen Fiend's Rib. Kezu comes in on the back lines with the hook shot, gets two of them stuck in the cogs. The Sonic Wave brings Lil down. Ramsey's will be fortunate enough to get himself away, but again, Secret with these plays opening up the mid lane and allowing them to what looks to be the chance to bring down the middle racks. 32 minutes in, the melee racks are gone. Yapsaw plays for Requiem. The telekinesis, and he's got it, Yapsaw. They might just the fall Fiend's Grip play, the Requiem play. That little Rubik. This guy again. Secure in the middle range. His oh. Rubik always oh, just. Oh. He did have some great spells to steal this time around. He did. But he said it. Secret's it... movement around the map has been really the big thing. They've been playing a lot more like a team than VP has in this one. Yeah, Look at the stun onto mid one. Great form four for an MP, and they'll take that. They'll be able to burst down the, the Bane, and they just tap it out. It's all too much. Ramsey's with some Blade Fury upon Blade Fury action. As uh, Yapsaw, he's actually going to be able to keep himself safe here. Holds back the jug, jugs down. It's all over, and it just absolutely skyrocketed in pace. That that middle lane push, and just as we saw VP, if you make one mistake against Secret when they've got Yapsaw on a Rubik, 
you're losing the game. Yeah, when you're playing it. I'll go with VP as well. I think Secret oh. have a chance, but they're going to need to dominate these lanes if they're going to take it. We'll see what happens. This is game two, Secret versus VP. Let's jump into it. Work. They got you up on the clock, and, and this already is a great hero to really disrupt the lanes and, and, and slow down the pace that the VP are going to hope to get early on. Yeah, for sure. I'm actually So no one actually sunstruck the um, fountain right away, and yeah. he saw Clockwork TPing toward top lane, and they pinged exactly pretty much where he warded. So they have a feeling that they know where that one is going to be. Another sunstrike coming out. Get it on MP, solo. Might they actually get brought down here, the battery assault, or they always get the stun follow up, and yeah, he's dead. Yep. One of the upsides of Secret Sir, so line up a lot of damage at the early levels. First blood for mid bomb once again. We saw him get it in game one. He's gonna get it again here in game two. And he also has the setup around the map. They have the slaughter crush, they have the Sven stun, so he can maybe potentially get some sun strike kills with that. Oh, fight for the bounty rune here. Ramses will grab it, but Lil's actually fallen pretty low. He gets surrounded, and again, Secret trying to use their best ability to get these kills early on, and I think they may just get it with one more right click. They do. Lil's brought down. They'll surround Soli. In fact, he's going to have Battery Assault again. They, they could chase for this, couldn't they? He's got long cooldown. Look at the slow. Yeah, you're right. The, the cooldown on the Battery Assault isn't going to be there, but in fact, the rundown on the right clicks, it's going to be close, but yeah, Soli gets the Shadow Word out once again in time, so... He can always sustain quite well versus the Darkseer. But now Darkseer, though, with the new Mango kind of thing into soloing, it's pretty good for him. Yeah, look at this. Yep, so just running around. Well, actually, may be in trouble this time around. In fact, with the Shadow Word taking him down, I think Yapsor's going to go down here. One more touch, and that should be enough. Yapsor pays with his life. And even though he was kind of responsible for setting up the first two kills, he Puppy still has the cover of it, but they're going in on three heroes. With the Shadow Word already out, healing up Lil, they do surround Solo, and that's definitely the easiest one to go for, and they should get him, and they do. The Stick Charge is not enough to save them, so they'll take apart one piece of the lane, but now, the, in comes the stuns in return. The Storm Hammer into the Crush from Lil. Takes down one, Yapsaw, again though, with the Cogs, trapping them up, but they don't quite have enough follow-up damage. Lil does get put down very low. Uh, yeah, of course, with all this attention elsewhere, it means this mid lane is, is going to remain pretty... Pretty static, it feels. Other than, obviously, as we saw with the stray, uh, a positive good room found by one of the mids, like mid one, getting a kill. Top the CS again. is going to be close. Yep, sort of finding Solo in the back. Yeah, this is the hero they've got to find each time to, to really break apart this trial lane. They have to bring down the Warlock. But, uh, yeah, again, they, they can't afford to have anyone in the lane, it feels. They, they've seen the haste run in his bottle, and they say anyone that goes Top mid lane Ramses is again. potentially going to die. He's going to get ran down. Uh, True Assault is doing a good job at bringing him low, and Ooh. he's gone. MP again. Oh, he's loving life now. May have not been getting the farm in terms of CS, but getting kills like that, as we see now, he's just slightly ahead of Sven, ahead of Ramses. There will be a wraparound from Lil, though. Crush into the Shadow Word. Japs is pretty tanky on this clock, and uh, will be tanky enough to get himself away. Puppy's there with the Ice Path. Cancel the upheaval. Solo continuing to see if he can chase this down. Lil sprints forward, but there's the rotation. Oh, he Mid gets one. the chains on two creeps and not oh, him. Oh, RNG not on his side there. He still wants to go for this. He goes forward with the remnant burst. The war cries out. The Yapsaw tanking the tower here. They've got to be a bit careful, Secret. The Storm Hammer into the Sunstrike takes down Yapsaw. You know, you have to emphasize on doing as a Dark Seal when you're playing those kind of 1v1s. You have to just over efficiency them, and he's got like, two levels on top of him. Oh, Tom, look at that. Mid one's still hanging around. He's playing around with Ramses. We yeah, still haven't told him back, but yeah, Ramses is actually going to get chased down him. Mid one moves forward here with the remnants. Ramses brought down very, very low. Sh solo has the Shadow Word heal. Mid one looks for the easier kill. Little tanks the gank for him. I, I, mean, I think like the runes, the runes have been a big Ooh, a testament to that one. For so him, low, one. he will be fine out by Yapsaw, but uh, this is uh, definitely a bit of a tanking the gank here. A secret was smoked up and ready to wrap round behind that tier one in the middle lane. Standard solo. So solo gives his life for the better of the team. Yep. You know, when the, in the time where everyone's going for like Manta, Lincolns, they, this is an item that actually for the price, it's, it's just much more efficient one in terms of farm and, uh, farming and pushing lanes and fighting. It's got an, it, it got buffed yeah, heavily. Yeah, it got buffed. So. Oh, top lane, they do find the opening here onto Ramsey's reaction will come through for Lil. Is it going to be enough to save the Sven? Ramsey's pops the stick charges and he's just a little bit too big. That extra strength from the God Strength helping him out and Lil again being a bro, saving the Sven. Ramses is out of there. A hook shot is coming in though from Yapso on the back lines and he's caught out solo. Solo being kept out by the battery assault. Pasha pops the mech, drags Yapso away from the warlock with the vacuum. Surge is there as well and Pasha taking Solo out. They've got the warlock rock though, so they do have the big team fight. And they do have the Yule setup. But again, it's no one just poking and prodding there. Sends Kezu up into the air, not going to commit himself. 
Spike Carapace coming out. Ramses can wait this out and then follow back in with the stun. And there we have it. As soon as the Spike Carapace is gone, they drop the Meteor down. Yapso comes in with a two-man hook shot, allowing for the Triple Remnant Burst to come in, bringing them down low. They found the Dark here. They'll pick the Warlock up as well. No one just goes straight for the TP out on the sidelines. Ramses trying to fight up with the God Strength. And there, the Crush, the Control onto Yapso. They'll take the clock. MP spotted out here by the Corrosive Haze. Can Lil and Ramses chase this down? They've got the Slither. Puppy Law on the Mana. Can they actually keep them off? MP is pops the Mask of Manus. The Sunstrike connects the Ice Path. Still buying some time. He gets to the Shrine and th they're, they're not going to go for that. VP will respect the heal. Back off. They did lose the tower. They did lose the tower. But they take though. a fight. At, I mean, it's, it's definitely not a fight. They can say it's the easiest uh, win for Secret. Well, okay, if they pick up a solo kill like that, I'll take it. Yeah, so actually finding Lil. Just, what, he, okay, he just TP to the Shrine and yeah. got him inside the Battery Assault Cogs. Okay. <laughs> Easy kill there for the clock. That's really, I mean, that's very painful for BP though. This need to have slaughter, that blink. he is nowhere even close to it. And they're just keeping all the moves. Secret just on the constant aggression. No oh, one now they getting gone on. Invoker, he's gone. Oh my goodness. Oh, VP. All on a par there in a couple of plays. How about everyone back up here? So VP do want to try and take this fight. I mean, at the least they want to make sure the Secret don't get away with a, a tier two tower. Surge forward from Pasha. Puppy's been spotted out, Lil lands the crush, but still it's just one, they get back away, they're time with this Kezu. Uh, sorry, Yapsil goes for the hook shot, traps Ramses, but there's the time, and then, oh uh -oh. my goodness, the vacuum wall come out, comes down onto four. Do they have to follow up damage though? No, because the instant stuns are coming out onto Pasha on the front lines. Ramses now comes across, chops down one, and MP falling on the mana, but he has the stone case, the cop back, and he actually stone case the Sven. Ramses committing too hard and allowing himself to get frozen up. And even though, I'll tell you what, that combo onto Fall looked beautiful, it just, it just didn't do enough damage. I, I guess what, with the Flame Guard up, with, with the Mana Shield on the Medusa, these two cores don't actually take that much from that initial burst. Wait, Puppy's got a whole Veil? He's got a whole Veil. Brown Boot into Veil. Okay, cool. That's solo, caught out up top. Yep, so Kezu and MP. Find the Warlock hanging around. We said may feel the necessi necessity to go for other items above it. It's just uh, they, they've got a really good. They just got they, uh, 20 minutes in. They have got a lot of magic damage. Yeah, it's issues if the Sven was like ahead though, but he's he's like a full 1200 behind the Medusa. So Medusa yeah. versus Sven is pretty damn good. Mid one, one hit away from falling, and uh, yeah, in fact comes back in hunting. Knows that he could try and set something up for uh, a reaction to come in. I like that though. Ramsey's oh. already trying to get combo aggressive. time in the middle lane. Is it enough damage? E one more touch. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, bring him down. Max Exhort with Agonims. That's a lot of punch. You know, yeah, so again, look, he's found Lil. And Lil, I, that, that, that blink dragon drag is certainly becoming a bit of a pipe dream for the Slada. It really is. It's constantly being set back. He, they need to win, like, they need to try to get him involved Ram in, like, one big fight. Ramses has got to be careful. He's out here on his own. He tries to the he... TP, but the uh -oh. chains are there. Ramses. Oh, dear. And, and in comes, he's, he's going to be a goner. He throws out the storm but the spike carapace is there. And Ramses, he'll try his best to run. He, he can run, but he cannot hide. As he gets caught out all alone there on a, a very bit of YOLO farming there on the solo fan. Especially because they're at a deficit, they have to kind of. They think they need to win a fight. They need to win like one or two fights and get this. Get this damn blink on the slaughter. Like it's so important for but, their fighting. Oh, here we go. If they can get MP with the start of this, that'll be huge. The EMP will connect. Knocks his mana down to half on the sidelines though. Mid one does get stunned up. The ice bar country solo will drop the goal and they're looking to try and finish off mid one and bring go. him down. That's the Ember Spirit out now. VP. They're the ones in the stronger position on this fight. Yep, still hanging around for the sidelines. Stone Gaze will be popped. VP back up for the time being. Kezu, see if you can find any sort of stun to hold VP back for ball. VP want to continue chasing. No shrine available here for Secret. MP down to about a third mana. No one with the Yule Scepter and the Ice Wall. Ready to set up the combo, but Kezu's there with the Sky Fight Carapace. And they just turn, yeah. He's gone a little bit too deep. I think he's forgotten the rest of his team can't run across as quick as he can. And the Invoker's out and down. No one's gone. Lil, stunning up the so just has to get himself away. And VP just coming in with an incredibly broken chase down that cost the Invoker's life. Pasha will be fortunate enough to get away with the blink. But meanwhile, deep in enemy territory, Lil is chased down by Yapsor. And that was just a, a, maybe a frustration play from no one. He, he knew that he could close the gap. Ramses and Lil going for the clockwork, and then no one runs into the other three heroes, so they just got completely separated now. Oh, man, Ramses. He's, he's, he's a goner. He really is surrounded by three. There's no escape for him once again, getting caught out on his own. 
trying to look for the farm. It's... Yeah, something's not right in the VP camp. It's, it's just falling apart. They're, they're going off on their own thing. and Another hook shot. Mid lane, yeah, Yapsor again straight in onto I mean, that Solo. Is, that is also the thing. Yapsor is getting, like, beautiful hook shots yeah, at every single one of these moments. And, and mid one's aggression as well on the Ember Spirit. One of his best heroes just jumping in, clipping. And in fact, with the Spike Cap, they, they might even kill no one. He's going to use himself up. And they'll surround him in the cogs, and he's dead. I think that this game might even be borderline over if VP continue to just tilt out and fall apart like this. Yeah, they just don't have a chance. Look, the scribble's coming out on the map by no one. This game has just gone horribly down south for VP. I, I think, you know, maybe at the start they, they may have felt confidence in the draft, but Secret just showed us how well they could win this early stage to the point where it doesn't matter if BKB's, BKB's ruin you because you're not giving the enemy team a chance to get to that point. You really aren't. A middle lane, the Rax is taken down. BP with an 11k gold deficit against Secret at this stage. I mean, it's definitely a frustrating game. Like playing versus the Clockwork, playing yeah. versus the Knicks, like no one's getting hunted down and they don't really have a good way to respond to it because you every time they walk out, they get this Where'd happen you to go? them. They just get you ran don't. at. And with that stun, into the ice path. Can they actually get Ramses out of here? No, yeah, with a hook shot like that, he is gonzo. They'll lose Ramses. Lil falling low as well. They just tap out it. GG. GG. It's too much. So Secret have secured their position oh. in Atlanta. Yeah, I said I'd take my prison hat off. I'm taking it off right now. I can, can I take I'm it off too? I'm taking my prison hat off I'm to Secret there. Well. What, we'll a, do, what a performance. We, we gotta wait till it goes back. Okay. Uh, but we, yeah, no, that, that, was, was, that was just great. Very yeah. clinical performance. The aggro tri lane worked.